Today we are outside Mountainburg, Arkansas at a facility that used to hold about 34 animals. The owner of the facility has been taking care of big cats for a few decades. She's now um, aging and in failing health. She's not feeling too well, so it's become very difficult for her to continue taking care of these large cats, which require a massive amount of care. It's been very difficult for this elderly woman to be able to keep up these enclosures, and so a lot of the fences are um, starting to become a little dilapidated. There are some gaps underneath and in between um, some of the wiring, and fences are falling down. Um, their, their dens are, are weathered and falling apart. The, the first time that I came on site here, I definitely felt very vulnerable, very uncomfortable in my surroundings. It was difficult to distinguish where the cats were and where their enclosures led and, and what access they had to you. Tigers can <coughs> leap at least 12 feet and some of these fences are only six feet high with no top and so it's a situation that if a tiger wanted to get out, it, it could definitely happen. We are here to help move these animals to a reputable sanctuary. It's, it's time now for them to move to a place where, where they can receive the care that they need. Refuge in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. We just made a two-hour drive from Mountain Berg. As you can see, we're in the process of unloading two tigers that we just brought, um, Joella and Lily, these two female tigers. Um, they made the trip so far very well, so it's just the process of getting them into their new enclosures. This part of Turpentine Creek is what they call the rescue fields, and it is still in the process of building. They, have had to move animals before it's complete because it's such an urgent need due to the unsafe conditions that are there at Mountain Berg. IFA is helping fund this uh, project and get these animals moved safely to their new homes and, and they hope that um, as the enclosures are built and all the animals are moved out, this will be completed by the end of the month. However, this, it won't be the last step. They will continue to need um, support. We know that this is not going to be the last situation like this that we will come across. There are more people out there that are going to need uh, their animals taken and, and put into a reputable sanctuary. Thank you so much for all of you that have helped us up to this point. And if you haven't yet, please visit ifa.org and make a donation. This is um, a very worthy cause and we appreciate all the support that we can get.